Hi everyone, we're going to sing a call and response song, and so I'm going to sing a phrase to you, and then Dana and Amelia, who are on the other side of the camera, <laughs> are going to sing with you. So I'll sing a line, and they'll sing, and you sing with them. Does that, does that make sense? So it goes like this. Be open for something wonderful to happen. Be open to possibility. Listen to it again. Be open for something wonderful to happen. Be open to possibility. You try. Ready? Be open for something wonderful to happen. Be open to possibility. Go again. Be open. For something wonderful to happen, be open to possibility. So I have a part that I'm going to sing against that. So you keep singing with Dana and Amelia, and I'll sing my part too. Ready? Three. Be open for something wonderful to happen, be open to possibility. Be open for something wonderful to happen. Be open to possibility. Be open for something wonderful to happen. Be open to possibility. Hello, fellow Burrowwood campers. Unfortunately, we're not able to gather underneath the hemlocks this year, but, this, but today we are gathering underneath the Tingley household. We're sorry that we're not able to be in presence. Even though we are not physically with you, we are with you in our hearts and our minds, and we wish you well, and we hope that you will be visiting friends and family this summer. And for those that are um, gathering underneath the hemlocks, please hug a tree for me. And we will begin our reading today from Ruth chapter 1, verses 1 to 8. And Ashley will be reading. The first section heading is Elimelech's family goes to Moab. In the days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem and Judah went to live in the country of Moab, he and his wife and two sons. The name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife, Naomi. And the names of his two sons were Malon and Chilion. They were Ephrathites from Bethlehem and Judah. They went into the country of Moab and remained there. But Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons. These took Moabite wives. The name of one was Orpah, and the name of the other Ruth. When they had lived there for about ten years, both Milan and Chilion also died, so that the woman was left without her two sons or her husband. The next section reading is Naomi and her Moabite daughters-in-law. Then she started to return with her daughters-in-law from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab that the Lord had consideration for his people and given them food. So she set out from the place where she had been living, she and her two daughters-in-law, and they went on their way to go back to the land of Judah. But Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go back, each of you, to your mother's house. May the Lord deal kindly with you, as you have dealt with the dead and with me. The Lord grant you that you may find security, each of you in the house of your husband. Then she kissed them, and they wept aloud. They said to her, No, we will return with you to your people. But Naomi said, Turn back, my daughters. Why will you go with me? Do I still have sons in my womb that they may become your husbands? Turn back, my daughters. Go your way, for I am too old to have a husband. Even if I thought there was hope for me, even if I should have a husband tonight and bear sons, would you then wait until they were grown? 
Would you then refrain from marrying? No, my daughters, it has been far more bitter for me than for you, because the hand of the Lord has turned against me. Then they wept aloud again. Orpah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clung to her. So she said, See, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and to her gods. Return after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Ruth said, Do not press me to leave you, or to turn back from following you. Where you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die. There I will be buried. May the Lord do thus, and so to me, and more as well, even if death parts me from you. When Naomi saw that she was determined to go with her, she said no more to her. Here ends today's reading. May God bless to our understanding the reading of the Holy Scriptures. And that's Berwick Technology for you. Unfortunately, I'm not Andrew, so I had to uh, script as much as I can to help her get, get through this. Take care. Have a blessed Berwick day. Catherine McLean here at West Edmonton Mall in Edmonton, the iconic pirate ship behind me. Malls, restaurants, churches, we're thinking a lot about how we're in community these days. May the Spirit of Christ rest in you and your communities and your relationships. The City of Edmonton has the longest continuous urban green space in all of North America. This river runs West and north, it's a long way from Berwick. And we're all wishing we could be together at Berwick. Some of us are a very long journey away. Ruth and Naomi made a long journey in hard times. May the Spirit of Christ be with you on your journey, even through hard times. Here are Orpah and Naomi and Ruth in the church I serve, St. Paul's, here in Edmonton. Who knew what would come of these unexpected relationships? May the Spirit of Christ bless you in your relationships and may the Spirit of Christ move in this service of worship. Amen. Hi, it's Elizabeth Rice offering a prayer from the unceded Algonquin land at the meeting place of the Rideau and Ottawa Rivers here in Ottawa. Through the wonder of technology and by the power of the Holy Spirit, let us pray together. Oh God, we gather in prayer wherever you might find us. You find us in kitchens, sitting at a table with family. You find us in desk chairs, armchairs, and lawn chairs. You find us in a sanctuary of sorts, indoors or outdoors. Oh God, send a blessing of peace upon us that we might know the depth of our hearts centered in prayer wherever we are. Fill us with your spirit, O oh God. Fill us with a spirit of gratitude. For you have given us this day. Whether we have found it a good day or a hard day, it was a new day a new day in which to seek for signs of hope and grace at work in our world. We pray for such a world and are thankful that we can both imagine it and be part of building it. We give you thanks, O oh God, that we are not alone. We give you thanks for companions in family, as parents and lovers, as chosen family, in extended networks spread far and wide. We give you thanks for companions who mentor and lead us, who follow and question us, who comfort and challenge us. We give you thanks that we can commit ourselves to the welfare of others and that your love instilled in us is infinite in possibility. We pray tonight for all who are ill, 
for those with COVID-19 and those living alongside the virus, whether it be in workplaces or at home. We think of everyone who is alone, those who long for companionship and visitors and hugs. We think of households where relationships are strained. We hold in prayer neighborhoods that live in fear, and we pray for nations still at war, even in the midst of a pandemic. We raise up refugees and all who have been displaced. We pray too for lives received into your eternal care, for every broken heart, for all who long for peace in the midst of sorrow. We pray for the words and actions to comfort the grieving and to be the church beyond the walls of our buildings. O oh, make us an instrument of your peace, O oh God, May we embody you in spirit and in Christian love, for it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to finish with a thankfulness song, and it goes like this. Thank you for this day, God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, O oh God. Thank you for this day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. I'll sing a couple of lines and then invite you to sing along. I'll sing them back. Thank you for this day, God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, O oh God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, O oh God. Thank you for this day. This healing, this healing, this healing 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 day. Thank you for this life, God. Thank you for this life. Thank you for this life, God. Thank you for this life. Thank you for this life, oh God. Thank you for this life. Thank you for this life, oh God. Thank you for this life. This healing, this healing, this healing 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 life.